Why is fiber so important? Let's review the list of benefits that are associated with a good intake of both soluble and insoluble fiber with our diet. First of all, fiber keeps our GI tract healthy for many different reasons. The prebiotic effect of soluble fiber favors the selection of beneficial gut bacteria, such as bifidobacteria, lactobacilli, and streptococcus. In contrast, a diet poor in fiber and rich in proteins favors the selection of more harmful, toxin-producing species of bacteria that promote stipsis and colon cancer. Fiber also prevents constipation. Insoluble fiber helps the GI content to move along. A faster passage means less time for water to be reabsorbed, which avoids the formation of hard, dry stools that are more difficult to expel. Soluble fiber draws and retains water, thus creating softer and larger stools facilitating their passage. This in turn prevents diverticulosis, which is often the consequence of chronic constipation and excessive straining during defecation. Moving on, fiber has an important effect on satiation. Fiber in general fills up the stomach with its bulk, and soluble fiber is particularly effective since it draws and retains water, forming a bulky gel which quickly fills up our stomach. So if the meal is rich in fiber, we need to eat less calories before we feel full, which helps control our weight. One common trick used by individuals who need to eat less food at meals is eating an apple with a couple glasses of water half an hour before the meal starts. The pectins in the apple start drawing water and by the time the meal starts, the stomach is already partially filled, so the person will need to eat less before feeling full. Another important advantage of fiber is improved blood glucose control. By slowing down the absorption of nutrients after a meal, and glucose in particular, fiber lowers glucose and insulin peaks in our bloodstream. In other words, fiber lowers the glycemic index of meals by slowing down absorption of carbohydrates. For this reason, a fiber-rich diet lowers the risk for type 2 diabetes and is extremely beneficial for diabetes patients. Next, fiber has a very important cholesterol-lowering effect, for at least three reasons. You'll understand this mechanism better when we study the lipids, but for now, let's just take note. First of all, fiber lowers the intestinal absorption of cholesterol. This not only reduces absorption of dietary cholesterol, but above all prevents reabsorption of bile salts, which the liver builds using cholesterol and are then released in the small intestine to help lipid digestion. After that, bile salts are normally in large part reabsorbed and sent back to the liver to be recycled. By preventing this recycling, fiber forces the liver to build new bile salts, using up more cholesterol from the bloodstream. Another mechanism involves the production of short-chain fatty acids, such as butyric acid and propionic acid, from the fermentation of soluble fiber. These molecules inhibit the synthesis of cholesterol in the liver. Indeed, our own liver is capable of building cholesterol, but fiber prevents this endogenous synthesis. Another way it does that is by reducing insulin peaks, because insulin also promotes cholesterol synthesis in our liver. Last but not least, fiber is extremely important in colon cancer prevention, and again for multiple reasons. By retaining water and forming bulk, fiber lowers the concentration of toxic substances and carcinogens. It sort of dilutes them, and at the same time, by accelerating the intestinal transit, it sends them away faster, minimizing their time in contact with the intestinal walls, where they can create damage. Fiber can also directly trap some toxic, carcinogenic, and radioactive molecules, preventing them from being absorbed, and this protects the colon as well as the whole body. On top of all this, the prebiotic effect of fiber is protective in itself against colon cancer because it favors the selection of protective gut bacteria which produce cancer-protective metabolites, such as the above-mentioned short-chain fatty acids, which modulate detoxifying enzymes. By favoring these beneficial bacteria, fiber also prevents the growth of more harmful bacterial population, which ferment amino acids and generate ammonia and other toxic metabolites which can directly damage the intestinal walls.